What if I told you I could offer you something that would enable you to walk again? I call it STEM. A computer chip that has the potential to change everything. Shooting in Melbourne was great. I mean, not only because it's my hometown and I love the city so much, but because I felt like the city itself really suited the film. You know, I wanted to make a gritty sci-fi film that had this film noir feel to it. And I think if you're talking about that, you're talking about Melbourne. I don't know if there's any other city in Australia that has that gritty, gothic, film noir personality like Melbourne does. And, you know, it was really proven when we were location scouting because we were finding these great places. When I decided to direct the film, we started talking about where we could get the most bang for our buck. And it was actually Jason Blum, the American producer of the film, who suggested Australia. Um, he felt that you can really push the budget in Australia. You, you know, there is the tax rebate available, all the incentives, the government uh, funding bodies, and there were ways for us to stretch the budget, which was, and it was great. Of course, I was happy with that, to shoot in Australia. My contribution was that if we were going to shoot in Australia, we had to shoot in Melbourne. We chose the locations based on what was best for the film. You know, it's, it's really about what serves the movie best. I never thought of the location search as being something for the sake of convenience. Like, let's make everything close by. <laughs> you know, I, I wanted to go as far as possible to find the right stuff. And so we were down on the Mornington Peninsula, uh, down on the coast there. So it was all over the map, you know, if you were to stick pins in the map of where we shot around Melbourne, they were pretty extensive. The city is so photogenic in that there is uh, amazing uh, locations to shoot, you know, and, and varied too. Like we were able to present the entire world of this movie. I wanted to see the, the upper class society of this world and I wanted to see the bottom of, of the rung and, and everything in between. And, you know, Melbourne allowed us to do that. When I'm making a film, I always prefer to shoot in a real location just because I think the camera picks that up, that, that grittiness. But there were certain uh, sets in this movie that were going to be very hard to find in the real world. Um, the character of Aaron's house was this futuristic cave and then uh, Grey and Ash's house in the film also was a kind of a smart home. And it just wasn't possible to retrofit someone's house. So there, was, there were certain sets that needed to be built. Docklands was great. We had our production office here. It was great. It was uh, a, a, a great film hub. They had great facilities. We had the stunt team working in one room. Then we had the production designers building things in the next room. So it was a really great one-stop shop. I think when you're making a film, time is always of the essence. And you, know, you don't want to be driving from place to place and wasting time in a car getting around. The fact that we had everything right here as this creative hub for the movie, and I would just uh, walk around from department to department all day long and checking in on the stunt team, checking in on the costume department. All the facilities were right here and it was great. And we used the sound stages for a couple of scenes. And that was amazing too. We were able to build these futuristic sets that we weren't able to get out in the world, you know, right here at Docklands. I can't say enough good things about the crew here in Melbourne. They were all amazing. The level of talent was absolutely world class. And I, I knew I could rely on them to do anything we were trying to do. And we were trying to be really ambitious with this film. There was a lot we were trying to pull off and they did it, you know, full credit to them. And I would shoot in Melbourne again in a heartbeat because I know the talent is here to pull off these, these movies on a world-class level. It was totally critical having Film Victoria's support. Creatively, I wanted to shoot in Melbourne because I felt that the city was right for the film. Um, but we couldn't have made it at all without the contribution of Film Victoria. You know, they helped us get this movie. And if you see the movie, it's an ambitious movie. It's a big sci-fi world. It's not a contained movie with three actors in one room. It's a, it's a near future sci-fi movie. And that stuff is hard to get without the resources. And you know, they made it possible. You now have full control again, Grey. <laughs>